Hi guys, my name is Jorge, again here from Search Electronics, and today I would like to show you guys the new Baxter that just came in. This new model is called the 248, and it has a more um, improved version over the old basic uh, pocket console. Okay, so let me show you how this works. First of all, when you start it, it's going to start at channel 1, okay, and um, the cool thing about this is it has a uh, 24 channels that you can patch through three banks uh, at eight faders okay so first of all let's go to the patch mode here and now you can select each address to select which kind of uh, fader you want to patch so I'm gonna patch the first 30 addresses to, to fader one once you do this um, I'm gonna select the next 30 addresses to fader 2. Okay, and now as you can see, fader 2 is gonna show the first segment and then the other one. Now I'm gonna go back to normal and by selecting this uh, button, you have the channel bank select. Now with this one, you press it and hold it and it's gonna light up the three LEDs showing the three different banks so uh, we're in bank one right now I want to go to bank two so it's gonna start from the faders 9 through uh, 16 so now that I'm bank two I can go back to patch and now I'm gonna start patching uh, from 61 all the way up to 90 And now I'm gonna patch the 91 address all the way back, all the way up to 120. Let's say. So now we can go back to channel uh, to normal mode, and on channel mode you can go back to channel two or channel one. This is bank one, which has the channels one through eight. Bank two is gonna have channels nine through 16 and bank 3 is going to have channels 17 through 24. Okay, so now that we're in uh, bank 1, as you can see, uh, uh, fader 1 has uh, addresses 0 through 30, and the fader 2 has the next ones. If we select then bank 2, you can see that the first fader has this uh, addresses selected, and the second fader has those. Now we can uh, overlap the banks and faders. So now, for example, let me turn on uh, fader two and fader one through bank two. Let me go back to bank one and I'll um, turn on uh, the second and first fader also. So now you can see I have all two, all two banks with all four faders turned on and you can see the whole segment turned on. So I can, let's say, turn off that segment, go back to bank two, and turn off uh, that segment. And now you can see that I'm only controlling the, the one that I want to control. And the cool thing about this uh, Baxter is it also has uh, the availability to record and playback. Uh, it has the patch mode, it has the channel mode. And it's a pretty good uh, pocket console if you want to do several different DMX control with one single console. Okay, well guys, I hope you like the video. Thank you. Uh, remember to subscribe and like us. If you have any questions, just make sure you comment down below, okay? And thank you for watching.